Welcome to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina, and today my wife is not with me, but I have a special guest with us today, Tyro Ryan Parrott. And I tell you what, we are pumped and excited to have you with us today. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Ron Tiarina, formerly known as 250397. I tell you what, boy, life on the other side of the gates is beautiful. Would you agree? It's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Once you're awake and once you're sober, right? Yes. And uh, so we we have uh, Ryan with us today, Tyro Ryan, and we're going to be talking with him. He's going to share with us his experience, his story, and what got him where he was at and where he's at today, and we are pumped. And I tell you what, um, for those of you who don't know what Tyro is, Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a warrior, or a founding father. And today, dads, we're here with Ryan. He's a father of four, and we are excited to hear his journey, his story, and what it what it's taken him to get where he's at today. You know, uh, we talk about hard work all the time. We talk about that you just can't take life for granted, right? We can't take it for granted. So, so Ryan, let's just dig right into this, man. First of all, welcome to the show, man. I really appreciate you coming in. Um, you know, um, what, what ended up where, you know, you're a tyro now because you must have been incarcerated somewhere yes, along sir. the line, right? So what was the challenge that you were facing in life that led you up to where you woke up and you found yourself behind bars? Well, um, I grew up in a addicted family and uh, drugs was always in and out of my life. And um, I got arrested for drug possession. I was addicted to heroin and meth. Mm. And, uh, but it's, it's been a blessing. It really has because okay. I've turned my life around completely. Like you said earlier, just living sober is amazing. Living sober is amazing. You know, yeah. I, I really appreciate seeing your sights. Now, now Ryan and I, let me, full disclosure, Ryan and I actually met uh, at a facility once, but I've been following Ryan on social media. And I gotta tell you, I am very proud of you. I am, I am, I'm grateful. I am, I am honored that you're here because watching his progress and his openness and frankness on the days he's been clean, on, on what he's accomplishing and the barriers he's overcome, this is what it means to be a Tyro, owning and telling your story, yes. right? So if you could tell us, tell us now that you're home, what, what's the biggest challenge you're facing? It's just trying to live a, a normal life and um, trying to, to better myself every day. I mean, there's struggles. There's a lot of struggles, mm -hmm. but it's just can you hard can work. you expound on what uh, some of your struggles? Yeah, let me um, cut you off. Like old friends getting a hold of me, wanting to use, and um, just being around the, the same neighborhood, and uh, you just gotta you got it's hard work, dedication. You gotta stay positive. You gotta you gotta you gotta want sobriety. You gotta you gotta fight for it every day. You can't take it for granted, mm. and it's just living life again and living life sober. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing. It really, it is. So I see you uh, pictures with with your kids, right? Yes, sir. And so, how does that work? How you're not you're at a, a halfway house currently right now, correct? Yeah. Right, but you get to see, get to see your family, and I know you're not living at home right now, not yet. But the exciting thing is, and I want to hear about how your family has has re embraced you. You know, so when we come back. We're gonna, we're going to talk about how your you and your family have been able to pick up the pieces okay. and basically start all over again. Okay, so we come back, that's what we're gonna talk about. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Tyro Dads will help you see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You'll begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina, and today we have a special guest by the name of Ryan Parrott. And I tell you what, we are thrilled and excited to hear his story and his journey and what it's taken for him to get to where he used to be to where he is now. 
So Ryan, we talked about uh, a little bit before we left the last segment about your family. You know, to pick up the broken pieces, you said you were addicted to heroin and meth. Wow. And I can, I can only imagine the, the destruction that that type of behavior leads to. So what, what are you doing to fix it? I mean, how is that working? You know, just getting with my family and, and trying to make amends, taking care of the ones that I've hurt and uh, just showing them I'm a better person sober. Before I was a mess, I really, I was, but now I'm, I'm holding myself accountable. I'm, I'm going to work every day, I'm providing for their lunches, I'm paying for their food buying them clothes, just, just being a father. And um, it's a blessing. It really is to be here. And I'm loving life. So, you know, when, when, we, when I see you at, uh, with the other guys at, from, at the house, you know, you're, they're other tyros, right? Yes, sir. And so they're holding you accountable, right? Yep. So tell me how that works. Now, say we mess up, we use foul language or um, post something on social media. We're, we're held accountable. We'll do our push-ups. Just like uh, I posted something, it was a guy that it, it shouldn't have been posted. Well, Ron held me accountable and I, I made a video and I did my push-ups. That's good stuff. And, th and that's, that's called uh, transparency, man. Instead of taking it personal that I called you out, right? You said, oh man, I'm, I apologize. I owe, I, I owe the push-ups because people are watching you. And we talked about, we're teaching people how your Facebook page, anything in social media that you do is your resume, right? Yes, sir. Right? And I tell you what, and so I'm watching you because I want to be held accountable. We're all held accountable to what we do. Ryan, so so tell, tell me about your relationship with your kids. You got four kids, right? And how, do, how does that work when, when being a dad, right? From, from, and still not able to live with them yet, but how do you do that? How do you manage that? Well, um... I get, uh, we get together at my grandmother's and uh, first things first, we will watch movies together on the weekends. Um, so you do get to see them all the time, often? Yes, sir. Oh, that's wonderful. I know I've seen pictures, but I know how yeah. often those happen. And just being able to order movies and, and sitting down, eating pizza together, watching mm. movies and just interacting with them sober. I mean, they, they love me today. And before I, I, I really, I was a mess. I, I, I mean, I was, I was a drug addict and uh, they need their father. And just, just being able to work with them and, and being where I'm at today, it's, it's a beautiful gift. It really, it is. And you just gotta stay strong and stay positive. So how has Tyro changed your life, becoming a Tyro? It's, it's made me look at life with a different aspect. Like I, I always, I wanna be a man we're following and I'm always focused on recovery and you you gotta you gotta want it, and just the the morals and values that Tyro has given me, it it's it's given me a, a foundation mm. to work on. That's good. That's good. That's that's a key word. Foundation. I'm gonna write that down because without a solid foundation, you know you're always gonna be tossed to and fro. You're always gonna be wobbling. You know, prior to getting incarcerated, prior to me going to prison, I didn't you know I, I didn't. Our foundation was like. Uh, Thin ice, right? We, we, you know, we fall through, you break through, and then you find yourself trying to grasp for air because you're drowning, yes. right? And then when we live in that state, always drowning, right? And, and I'm so you're right. I'm thankful for a solid foundation. So if, if I ask you one more question before we go to the next segment, um, who was who was it that was the, your champion cheerleader in your corner? Who, if there was somebody you could say right now that you want to thank out there, who was it? Who was championing you to you can do it? I want to thank the coordinator, Mr. Roberts. All right, all right, the facilitator, Mr. Roberts, Tyro yes, Roberts. All right. He's he stuck by me through a lot of stuff, and he's always been there for me. That's and good. It's a blessing to have people like him. That's good. And prior to incarceration, you didn't even know him. No sir. You didn't know him for Adam. Nope. Right, and that that's a good stuff because when you're doing the right thing, people like Mr. Roberts will show up, right, and help you show out. Right? Yes. Man, I tell you what, this is this is amazing because I, I know there's a lot more to your story too, and I wanna I wanna go into that a little bit more when we come back. So stay tuned. You don't wanna miss this story. We'll be right back. <laughs> Playing catch, basketball, laughing and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside, but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. 
As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tirina, and today we have a special guest in the house, Ryan Parrott, man. I tell you what, this is pump, man. This is exciting stuff. Ryan, I appreciate you guys coming in. You, you taking time to come in here and uh, spend time with us. And so let me ask you this. Okay, so are you currently on parole or probation or any of that right now? Yes, sir. I'm on probation. Are you on probation right now? So so what do you got to do to to really uh, know that you're not going to get violated? How do you how do you win that relationship with your parole officer, with your probation officer? How What are you doing to make him know that you can, he can take you at your word? Well, you, for me, you got to be responsible. You got to work every day. You got to focus on recovery because I am a, a recovering drug addict. And you got to stay diligent about everything. Mm. And like where I work at now, I'm, I'm walking 45 minutes to work. Wait a minute, day. wait a minute, wait a minute. You walk 45 minutes to work every day? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm dedicated to get there. So what you're saying is you don't have a car? No, sir. I don't have my license. Okay. All right. All right. But you didn't let that stop you from going to work and getting a job? No, sir. All right. So, okay. So now your parole officer, he knows you walk to work every day? Yes, sir. Yeah. And so what's he say? He says I'm dedicated. Oh, that's good. That's good. There's no reason for me to ever be on food stamps ever again. Mm, man, oh man, did you hear that, Dad? So it's great. So, so, why, why? What are you doing different that's not gonna keep you from getting food stamps? I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to work, and I'm gonna build a legacy for me and my family. That's what we're talking about, and that's what it means to be a tyro, right? Yes, sir. To be a tyro is to build something new for your family, right? Something that they can be what? Proud of. Proud of, yes. Yeah, something that they can be proud of. You know, so so you're working, you're walking to work, and and your your probation officer, he's he's calling you, he's saying you're dedicated, right? So and the goal is to not only win him over or and to show them that you have changed and you can be taken at your word, right? But to get off parole early, yeah, right? To, to complete it. To complete it. Man, that's the greatest feeling on earth. It was for me, man, when I got my sister to get a release and he said, you're free to go, you know? And I, and I, I wanna give you this encouragement. You know, I, I got my picture taken with my parole officer, so I, I encourage you to do that. So when he sends you, that gives you that certificate of release, you get up somebody to take that picture and then frame it. Okay, let me ask you this. So you're going to work, you're walking to work. So what, what, what's stopping you? What is stopping you? I'm gonna ask you this. I know you basically, you hit on it in the answer, but I wanna say, what's stopping you from going to the dope man? What's stopping you from grabbing a beer? What's stopping you from doing that stuff? Determination. Determination. To be a better, a, to be a better man and a better father. And my children mean the world to me and, and that's what I, I'm focusing on. I'm, I'm working to be a better person for my children. That's good. So your kids is that driving factor in your life. Yes, sir. So how often do you get to see them? It's, um, a little bit through the week, but every weekend. Nice, man. It's wonderful. And you got to show up and show out when you're there with them, right? Yeah. You can't be on your cell phone, right? No. Right. No. You can't be watching Netflix when they're there, right? Yeah. Unless you're watching it with them. Right. Right. But you, but you, they want you got to give them their attention, right? It's that, it's that quality attention that they deserve. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Ryan. You know, when you came out, man, what was the biggest obstacle you had to face when you got out? It would be. I'm, I'm gonna say my environment and being around old people, places, and things. Mm. Mm. So now you surround yourself with people of like-mindedness, right? Yes, sir. Ty so fellow Tyros, I, I live with. I live in a recovery home, and uh, there's a few fellow Tyros there, and we all hold each other accountable. Mm. We we work towards goals, and we work out together. We we do a lot of stuff together, and it's just having that 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 family away from family. Wow, that's good stuff. So you're holding each other accountable to where you can help each other become better than you are right now. Yes, better people. Better. better people, right? And that's what it means to be a tyro, holding yourselves accountable. Listen, dads, if you're out there and you're still um, trying to hustle in a negative way or trying to get over on people, listen, if you want something different, you got to hang, hang around different people. Hang around people who want to celebrate you and show you the path. That's what yes. I'm, I'm hearing you yes. say. 
right? That you are you are associating yourself with people that are that wake up in the morning and you have an agenda. You wake up in the morning, you have a plan to execute, to become what? Successful. 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 Is this hard or is this easy? It's hard. It's hard? I, I, come on, man. It can't be that hard. It, it, it is to an extent. Yeah. But if you're diligent and you keep doing the next right thing every day, you're going to prosper. Man, the next right thing. I love that word, the next right thing. So if, you, if you're consistent by doing the next right thing every day, you will what? You will prosper. You will prosper, man. That's powerful. That's a good word. Because that's what everybody wants. We all want to prosper. We want to be able to build a legacy for our kids. We want to show them like, don't, you know what, our past doesn't want. You remember that one? Our, our past, past doesn't define us. Our past doesn't define us, but it will. Qualify us for a future. If we let it. Good word, man. Good word. Listen, when we come back, we're going to wrap this all up, man. And, and, and uh, we're going to have uh, Ryan give us three action steps, three things that we can do as, as dads that will make us better people for our family and our community. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Dear son, it's been hard these last few years watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around. I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man, learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad. You're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. Dad. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tirina, and today we have a powerful Tyro in the house, Ryan Parrott. We are excited to have you. And in this final segment, we just want to talk about a little bit, if there were three things, Ryan, that you could tell the dads out there and the other men who are watching this inside these penitentiaries, inside the walls right now, if there were three, three things that you could impart to them that would empower them to take it to the next level or to even wake them up, what would they be, man? What, what could you give them that could help them um, really achieve their dreams and desires? Well, the first thing I would I would definitely have to say is don't give up. Mm. D tip, don't take it personal. Don't give up. Stay focused and 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 know what you want, and just just don't give up on the, on the first hard thing that comes comes to to play. Just just stay focused. All right. Number two, what would number two be? Surround yourself with good people, and mm. and, and know your worth. Just misery loves company, mm -hmm. and and just just surround yourself with, with even fellow Tyros. The, the good people in your life. That's good stuff. God, don't surround yourself with lames is what he's saying. Yes. <laughs> and what, if, if there was a third one, what would that be? You need to have a plan. You, mm. you, need, you need to be prepared. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Ooh, that's a good word. Good word. Have a plan. Don't just get up in the morning and think you're going to wing it because that's what got us locked up. Yes. Right? Always winging it. You know, let me see. So you, you said surround yourself with number one was don't give up. D-tip. Now, D-tip is, is a powerful concept. Don't take it personal. You know, because there's a lot of things that come our way and we always what? And you can't take it personal. You can't take it personal. And if we're able to really engage and activate that principle, man, we win every time. Right? We win every time. Because it ain't about, it ain't about us. It ain't about us, yes. <laughs> it ain't about us. And the next one you say, well, surround yourself with people of like-mindedness. Surround yourself with people who celebrate you. And that's what Ryan's talking about. And the last one you said was have a plan. I tell you what, man, a lot of people, we got locked up because we didn't have a plan. Yeah. 
right? We would just live in check by check. Day by day. Day by day. And hopefully our, the dice rolled our way, yeah. right? And we find up waking up in the joint with nothing, dead broke. <laughs> well, listen, man, this has been amazing. This has been good stuff. Listen, um, now Ryan and Ryan is a Tyro, man. We're, we're all works in progress here. We're all on this continuous improvement plan. Man, don't be discouraged, man. If Ryan can do it, so can you. If I can do it, so can you. Man, I just want to say thank you for letting us be part of your journey. Thank you for allowing us to come into your life today. So always remember, um, my name is Ron Tiarina, and I'm a Tyro. My name is Ryan Parrott, and I'm a Tyro. And always remember that we, we are rooting for you.